Welcome to another class. The topic is measurement. You can see chapter number 9, page number 84. So let's get started and try to see the class. Dear students, you can see it is page number 84 of your elementary mathematics textbook where we can see the author mentioned almost three types of questions but before that we can see there has some valuable information by using which information you will be able to solve such types of questions so at the top of this page you can see it's written that 9.4 days and week and calendar you i think you all are able to uh, understand that what uh, the term calendar means so i think uh, almost all of you are familiar with the term calendar by using this calendar you can find the name of days weeks and date so you know in a week there has seven days that means seven days consist of one week so uh, that's why the author mentioned that days of a week there are seven days in a week that means one week is equal seven days and i think you all should memorize this seven days name and that's that is saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and here you can see its background is red why because you can see in our country every offices every educational institutions are totally shut off in this day that's why its background is right so it's very interesting you know uh, in friday you are also free that's why you can make a trip you can make a journey uh, and that's why uh, its background is right because it's a, j a joyful day to you and to us okay so we can see there has almost four types of questions which are warm-up activities the thing which is mentioned in the title it's fill in the blanks so we can see there has four different blanks and by your creativity you should fill these blanks so that you can enrich your knowledge you can see the question which is mentioned at the first the question is which day is the day after sunday that means the question to you that after sunday which day will come you can see in this question it is sunday and after sunday the day is monday so it's very easy after sunday we can find Monday so there we should write something and the answer will be Monday so I think you all were able to understand the answer it's totally very easy so now if we see question number two where it is mentioned that which day is the day after Thursday if we see at this picture after Thursday the day is Friday so the answer of this question are to fulfill this blank you need to write Friday so it's very easy now if we see what will be the answer of question number three before going to the answer you need to read that words mentioned in this question the question is which day is the day before waiting day you can see before Wednesday the day is Tuesday that means you need to write Tuesday in this place after that on which day is your school closed it's very simple you know as earlier I mentioned on Friday every educational institutions every schools are totally closed so you need to write Friday Dear students, I hope you all were able to understand question number 1, 2, 3 and 4. And these all are very simple. Actually, it's a warm-up activity. If now 
we will try to solve question number one two and three it will be a little bit difficult from the first one so if we try to see what is mentioned in question number one the question to you is that two days ago Raja went to maternal uncle's house if today is Wednesday on which day did he go to maternal uncle's house so it's very easy you can see today is Wednesday but Reja went to his maternal uncle's house two days ago so if we count today is Wednesday the day before yesterday was Tuesday and before that day there was Monday that means if today is Wednesday two days ago the day was Monday so how we can customize this question and we'll be able to solve the question there you can also see the question uh, with big letter so that you can see the question very easily so it was the question that two days ago Reza went to maternal uncle's house if today is Wednesday on which day did he go to maternal uncle's house so it's the question so now it's time to customize the question and summarize the question so how we can solve the question at the first of this question you should write today is Wednesday and that's why two days ago it was Monday why because if we count counterwise Wednesday then Tuesday and then Monday so the answer of this question will be like that he go to his maternal uncle's house on Monday there will be on Monday so that's the procedure that how we can solve these questions obviously there you need to write on Monday by typing mistake uh, it was not written but you need to write he go to his maternal uncle's house on Monday so I hope you all were able to understand question number one now if we will try to see what is mentioned in question number two the question is a sports day in Mina's school will be held six days after today if today is Monday one which day will the sports begin or one which day will the sports day be so it's also very simple you need to memorize that if today is Monday and after six days what will be the result you need to count this matter with the help of your finger so let's count Monday then Tuesday then Wednesday then Thursday then Friday after that Saturday and after that Sunday so what will be the result here so now we will try to go to our board to summarize the question so that we can easily find out the answer at the top at the top of this page you need to write today is Monday so six days after six days after today is or six days after is Sunday so it's very easy why six days after today is Sunday because when you will try to count this matter by the help of your finger you can easily find that after Monday it will be Tuesday then Wednesday then Thursday Friday Saturday and then it will be Sunday so that's very easy so the answer of this question will be like that Sunday will be the day of sports or Sunday will be the sports day so that's the procedure that how you can solve question number two so dear students I hope you all were able to understand the question now if we try to see the final question which is mentioned in page number 84 the question is Ali went to a hospital two days ago but his stomach actually started three days before he went to the hospital if today is Saturday 
on which day did his stoma search start that means a person went to a hospital two days ago but before going to the hospital before going to that hospital before three days he actually but his stomach as he started three days before when he went to hospital that means total day will be five because three plus two is equal five that means a person went to hospital two days ago but when he go went to hospital before that before three days he was in stomach so now the question to you if today is saturday on which day did his stomach actually start so now it's time that how we can customize or summarize the question so let's go to the board and try to see at the top of this page or in the first line you should write that today is saturday so after five days why five because 2 plus 3 is equal 5 and you can see in the question 2 days and 3 days were mentioned that means 2 plus 3 is equal 5 so ultimately so to so 5 days ago it was Monday so how we can find the answer it's very easy because if we count counterwise by the use of our finger by using our finger it will be very simple that before Saturday it will be Friday and then Thursday then Wednesday then Tuesday and then it will be Monday so finally by using that procedure you can find that the answer will be Monday that's mean if today is Saturday five days ago the answer will be Monday so the answer should be written like that on Monday his stomach at his start so dear students by solving these questions we were solve all the questions which is mentioned in page number 84 actually there has a lot of ways that how you can solve any kind of mathematic mathematical problems but i was shown the easiest process which can be very simple to you but if even still if you have any question any doubts you can ask me on the comment box you can write me on the comment box and free, feel free when you are asking any question you know from this channel we usually try to upload a lot of educational videos so if you want to make a contribution on your educational field you can see and you can learn a lot of educational videos from our channel so stay connected with us but before finishing the class i want to give you a big thanks thanks a lot everyone for seeing this class and continuing the class in near future we will also upload another types of video so stay connected with us take care and goodbye